So this video is going to be a bit long-winded because I'm just going to do this basically in real time. It's the first time I've done this, so hopefully all goes well. And this is regarding the Sony RM IP500 camera controller. Now this appears to have out-of-date firmware on it, but I'm getting conflicting uh, information. So the device itself says it's firmware version 1.0, which is the original factory version. And then with the uh, RM IP setup tool, it shows version 2.1, which doesn't really make sense, but oh well. Um, and I just have a little network set up here, so I'm isolating it from everything. Um, some things that you might want to consider is if you're going to do this firmware update, grab a battery backup to run your hardware. Because the last thing you want is power outage to kill your controller. I'm hoping it's more resilient against, you know, mishaps, but I've, like I said, never done this before. And you're going to want to get the latest firmware from Sony's support website. I'll uh, probably put a link to this page in the description. And then you're going to want to back up, oops, back up your config just in case you have a crazy config. And um, I think I got the wrong document here. Let me pull up the right document. This is the right document. All right. So yeah, you'll want to back up your config and uh, get rid of the glare. You can also find these instructions online. But basically you're going to the IP address of the unit plus that port number and then backup forward slash backup forward slash. So I'm going to do that real quick. And the port number is 52382. And before I go to that, you do need to put the uh, controller in update mode. So I'm just going to back up here. Use the select arrow to select it. Then use the value knob to change it to from update mode from on to, or off to on. And I'm going to push the value button and it'll generate a random password. Um, so after you type in the IP address, there we go. So I want you to log in and I gotta figure out again the manual. So the login is all caps RM IP underscore user for the, for the uh, username. And then password is whatever password shows up on the screen of your device. Which is a fun jumbled mess. And now I'm in my device and I can back up the config. Windows will try to stop you from downloading that um, config file so you have to tell it basically that you want that file which isn't too big of a deal. Just uh, Windows basically trying to protect you. All right, so once you back up your config, you will uh, change back up to version up, which will get you to the version update page. Thank you, Blair. You can also find this in the manual. And it says that um, version one is what's on there. So asking me to um, choose a file after you click yes and then start. So I got to point to the file on my laptop. Sorry this is so crude, but it's just not, <laughs> not set up for this. Probably could have done a better job. All right, so I've selected the file. I'm just gonna click okay. Which I think will start the update process. It's thinking. It says please do not turn off your remote control unit. 
And on the screen, oh, that was quick. <laughs> Before I could even even uh, say what I was gonna say, and on the screen it shows that uh, the firmware was installed. So now let's go to uh, actually has nope not config read them maintenance and model info. And uh, yeah, dang, that was uh, way easier than I thought it would be. Um, interesting. So now I'm gonna power cycle the unit real quick. Hold my breath, twist my, cross all my fingers and toes, and boom, still works. Gonna go back to maintenance, model info, the firmware stuck. And I'm curious to see here now, I'll click refresh. Configuration is still protected and it doesn't show the right version. Interesting. So that doesn't solve the uh, issue with, uh, with being able to configure this that I haven't figured out yet. But at least now you know how easy the firmware update is. That was almost instantaneous. The, the firmware file was small though. It's not even one megabyte. So yeah, so hopefully uh, that was helpful and thanks for watching.